I'm a full-time father. I'm very involved in all of my kids' lives. I play with my sons every day. I watch my sons every day. I'm basically just a, that's a, that's a daddy's man. It's very important for dads to talk to other dads about safe sleep. So I try to talk to as many friends as possible. Raising a kid is a wonderful thing, and you don't ever want anything to happen bad for your kids. My name is Antoine Dow. I'm a professional barber. I have three children. My name is Antonio Jefferson. I'm actually a recording artist slash actor, singer. I have five kids. My name is Bernardo Jones. I have three children, one daughter and two little boys. I do consider myself as an ambassador for safe sleep because I can reach out to my clients. Raising a child is a very, very serious responsibility. And keeping a child safe is a very huge responsibility as well. I'm very involved with the care of my children. I want my baby to just sleep. No little types of toys he can pick up or put in his mouth or anything like that. The only way you can get other dads involved is by talking to another dad. When I talk to other dads about safe sleep practices, I'm usually butting in. So sometimes it's better to hear from another guy friend, a guy coworker, your dad, your uncle. Oh, we talk about everything in the shop. Bad sleep habits are learned behavior. A long back crib means a baby sleeps alone, always on their back, no toys, no bumpers, sides, anything that can tangle up with them or, you know, they can suffocate from or anything. Completely just a baby in the crib. You should never fall asleep with your child on your chest or on a sofa. It's, you're asking for, you're asking for a, a tragedy to happen. If an adult rolled over on a child, you, you can kill that kid. You can smother them. You, Anything can happen. It's very, very important to share that information with other kids in the house because you have older sister and brother that take care of their little brother. You want to make sure they do the things correctly. Just general information you share with someone can save a child's life because just one child is too many. Safe sleep steps are very easy to follow. It's basic common sense stuff that once you know it, it's like it's drilled into your head. There's always going to be more work to be done to save lives. I would recommend other people to become safe sleep ambassadors because the more that know, the more children we can save. Yes, it makes me feel very good when I'm saving life. You got to do it by the book because anything can happen. A long back crib is the way you should do it all the time, period.